to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew our princess that bustier with flay okay now princess that bustier is actually very easy for you to achieve and this tutorial is going to make it very easy especially if you are a beginner so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your princess that bustier your shoulder measurement bust waist hip and your gown length now i know you might want to ask me what about your shoulder to nipple what about your shoulder to under bust what about your shoulder to your half length now i have a detailed tutorial where i explained distance calculation and one advantage of learning your distance calculation is it enables you to deal with enables you to make dresses especially when you are dealing with just size charts so peradventure you have a client that just says oh can you make my outfit for me i'm size 12 or i'm size 10 are you going to be asking your clients what is your nipple to nipple what is your shoulder to under bust what is your shoulder to half length no okay you don't need to do that all you have to do is have your basic measurements which is a size chart which includes your shoulder bust waist and hip and with the detailed video on distance calculation is to explain to you how to get every other measurement so quick okay so let's go ahead now and calculate our measurements so our shoulder measurements is 14 14 divided by 2 we have 7 our bust is 36 36 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 10.5 our waist is 30 inches 30 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 9.5 inches our hip is 38 38 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 11 inches our gown length is 60 inches now don't forget that the first thing you want to achieve is your princess that bustier and the second part is where you have your flay so this means that you have to deduct the upper part of your dress which stops around your knee area from your gown length where you are going to have your flay so now our shoulder to knee is 35 inches another reason why you need that video on distance calculation which i'm going to put down the link in the description box please check it out so if your client says i'm size 10 are you going to be asking what is the measurement of your shoulder to your knee you don't need it okay with that video you should be able to know the distance from your shoulder to your knee across all sizes i went ahead to make that detailed video for you guys okay so now our shoulder to knee is 35 go ahead and deduct 35 inches from it so when you deduct 35 inches you are going to have 25 inches so what are you going to do now you are going to add your two inches to your sewing allowance which is your folding allowance at the lower part so 25 plus 2 we have 27 inches so this means that our flay is going to be 27 inches while our shoulder to knee is 35 35 plus 1 for our sewing allowance we have 36 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your princess that bustier if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on and don't forget to join us on facebook td designs on instagram tg designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below trainings are available both online training and this and <laughs> trainings are available both online training and physical training and all the details are in the description box below so let's go ahead now to the cutting part of this tutorial so guys now we want to draft the pattern and of course what we are dealing with is our princess that bustier so the first thing we are basically going to do now is we are going to go ahead and mark our basic measurements okay so i'm going to mark my basic measurements now 
so I'm marking my basic measurement shoulder to arm or nine inches shoulder to bust nine and a half shoulder to under bust 13 and a half inches shoulder to waist 17 inches waist to hip waist to hip 9 inches waist to knee length 17 inches now i know you might want to ask me that how were we able to come across all these measurements i have a detailed tutorial where i explain distance calculation distance between your bust to waist waist to hip and all of that so i'm going to go ahead and put down the link in the description box below you can check it out okay after watching this video so i've gone ahead also to mark it at this other part and then i'll connect the lines together next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our dart line so my dart is four inches i'll mark four inches all the way down so we have four inches so the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to connect the lines together So we've gone ahead now to connect the lines together. So the next thing we are going to do now is to mark half inch on both sides on our waistline, okay? Half inch on both sides on the waistline. We'll go ahead and connect the lines together. So this is what we have and because what we want to achieve is our princess dart bustier we'll go ahead and extend this dart line to our shoulder line making use of your pattern master so pattern masters are available at our store so this is basically what we have so the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and mark half inch on our under bust on both sides so we'll mark half inch on both sides on the under bust so this is our under bust line this is our waistline our bust line so you go ahead now and connect the lines together connect the under bust to your bust this is what you have and then you connect your under bust to your waistline basically so this is what it looks like so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark five inches on our shoulder dart and this is just because of our bustier so i'm going to show you guys how to achieve your princess dart bustier so connect the five inches now to your bust line so connect it to your bust line this is what you have so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your measurements okay so our bust measurement is 10.5 our bust measurement is 10.5 our waist measurement is 9.5 our hip measurement is 11 inches now at this lower part you are basically going to deduct one to two inches to give you your pencil effect so it depends on how pencil you want it to be so i'm going to deduct two inches i'll mark nine inches at this point so i'll connect what i have here to my hip line connect it to your hip line this way connect your hip to your waist and then your waist to bust waist to bust so this is what we have now the next thing we want to do now is to go ahead and mark You want to do now is to go ahead and mark our shoulder measurement so before you mark your shoulder measurements please close your shoulder dart the reason why you are closing your shoulder dart is that this will enable you to have your accurate shoulder measurement so once you close your shoulder dart now you will go ahead and mark your shoulder measurement so our shoulder measurement is seven inches this is what we have so i'm going to go with my arm o curve which comes in our pattern set connects your arm o your shoulder line to your bust line this way 
connect it to your bust line this so you can see this is what we have now because we want to achieve our princess that bustier princess that bustier the next thing you are going to do now is to measure what you have for your arm o. now we have nine inches for our arm o. divide your arm o by two so nine inches divided by two we have 4.5 come down with half inch so let me come again for your pre arm o princess that's for your princess that's bustier now this is what you have your shoulder to your arm o is nine inches divide this nine inches by two you have 4.5 come down with half inch so this is what you have your half inch so with this you'll be able to get your princess that bustier divide your arm o by two and come down with half inch so we have five inches now what you are going to do now basically is that you're going to connect these five inches to this point okay you're going to connect it to this point so just come down to connect with this shoulder that you can see what it looks like so automatically it's going to meet up with this your shoulder that so you just come down connect it basically to meet up to this point so this is what our princess that bustier looks like so the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to mark our arm o we are going to mark our neckline rather sorry so the next thing you are going to do now is you are going to mark your neckline so the wideness of your neckline totally depends on how wide you want it to be so i'm making use of four inches because i want my neckline to be wide and for the deepness of your neckline it depends on how deep you want it to be okay but this is a very deep v neckline so i'm going to connect it up to my waistline this is actually how the style looks but note that this might be too deep for you you can you know measure four inches five inches it depends on how deep you want the neckline to be but for this style it is actually very deep so that is why i am taking it all the way to one inch above my waist so i'll just connect it to the neckline i'll just connect it to the neckline like this is what it looks like so but if you have any question please feel free to drop your question so basically what we did here was this is our neckline we have our bust here for you to get your arm or divide your arm o by two to get your princess that bust here and you come down with half inch and you connect it together so this is basically what it looks like so i'll go ahead now and cut this out and so guys after cutting it out this is what we have you can see so basically have two pieces this way so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and cut out this upper piece so that we can have our princess that was there so basically this is what i'm cutting out i'm going to be cutting out this line this right and then We'll be cutting out our neckline and you have to close this your shoulder that so this is what we are going to have at the end of the day so this is what we are going to have at the end of the day so this is where you can see our princess that bustier yeah, you can see your princess that bustier yeah, and already it's out and this is what we have for the lower block so we'll go ahead now and cut out the back piece i don't want this tutorial to be too long i'm only going to be cutting out the upper parts of the back block and this is because basically the lower part of the back block and the front block are the same okay so i'll go ahead now and mark my zip allowance so i'll be making use of one and a half inches for my zip allowance so you can make use of one inch one and a half two inches it depends on you i'll go ahead with my pattern master and connect the lines together so after that next thing we are going to do now is to mark our dots four inches four inches four inches so connect the lines together this is what we have so on the waistline go ahead and mark half inch on both sides half inch on both sides connect it together so the back block is actually very easy okay because of course for your back block you basically just have your dots alone okay 
so you connect the dark lines together i don't know if you guys can see the lines i'm just trying to paint the lines again so that you guys can see it clearly okay now we go ahead now and mark our shoulder measurement so your measurement starts after this zip allowance so our shoulder measurement now is seven our bust is 10.5 our waist is 9.5 our hip is 11 inches now we deducted two inches for the front block so we're also going to deduct the same two inches here we have nine inches so i know i said i'm going to mark only the upper part but i just felt like let me just mark everything so that you guys will understand it better so connect the lines together Trainings are available, both online training and physical training, and all the details are going to be in the description box below. So I've gone ahead now to connect it. So we are going to go ahead again with our arm o curve and connect our shoulder line to our bust line. Connect the lines together. This is what it looks like. So the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to mark our neckline. So we made use of four inches for the front block. So you're also going to make use of that same four inches for the back block. Now, because the front neckline is deep, it's also necessary that the back neckline becomes high. Okay. So if you're most times if the front neckline is deep the back neckline is always high so i'm going to make use of two inches for the deepness of the back block however it depends on the style you are making okay so this is what we have and of course we are going to mark our one inch for our shoulder slope one inch for shoulder slope and then we connect the lines together so this is what the back block looks like now you might want to ask me that okay while i'm explaining let me be cutting it out now you might want to ask me that why didn't we mark princess that bust here at the back of course you don't have your bust at the back okay <laughs> you don't have your bust at the back your bust is basically just in the front alone and there is no princess that at this back it's just like your normal regular dance i know some people you know mark princess dance at their back um panel but for me i don't because <laughs> what is the essence of the princess dance at your back like okay let me just know do you mark your princess dance at the back if you do please comment in the comment section below and let us know why you do so okay you might be right i'm not saying that you are wrong or you are right but me personally i just maintain like my normal that for the back block and then i'm good to go so this is what we have for the back block i am not going to open up this part because of course it's just like a regular piece so i'll go ahead now and just transfer this to my fabric so for the upper part of the front block fold your fabric into two place your pattern on it and then you go ahead and cut this out so by the time you are done this is what is going to look like okay so this is what we are going to have you can see the middle piece and we have this for the two sides so the reason why this neckline is deep is because i told you guys that what we want is like a very deep neckline but you can reduce yours okay depending on what you want at the end of the day so this is basically what it looks like so you can see the princess that bustier effect so by the time you couple this up you are still going to have your arm or by the time you couple this up you are still going to have your arm or you can see and then you have your bustier effect also so we'll go ahead now and cut out the lower part of this so guys after cutting it out this is what you are going to have for the back block so you are basically going to have two pieces for the back block so we'll go ahead now and set this aside so guys fold your fabric into two place your pattern and cut it out so by the time you are done this is basically what you are going to have so i'm just going to notch this part so that you know 
I don't make the mistake of stitching this lower part to the basic block to the upper block so this is what we have now for the lower piece so for the complete front block guys for the complete front block this is what is going to look like so you can see the upper piece which is our princess that bust here and then you can see this part while at this lower part now we'll now go ahead and attach our flay okay so go ahead now and cut out the lining or the interface for every of these pieces and then i'll show you guys what next so so guys now we want to cut out the back block go ahead and fold your fabric into two i'm making use of this beautiful african print and african prints are available at our store so once you fold your fabric into two place your pattern this way and then you cut this out to give us two pieces for the back block so guys this is what it looks like we've gone ahead now to couple this up to give us a single piece and of course you can see our deep neckline deep v neckline so this is what it looks like so also for our lining also we've also gone ahead to couple this up so what you are going to do now is you're basically going to place your lining on your front block go ahead and stitch this okay and you turn it so that you can have like a nice finishing back block you can see that we have two pieces for the back block we've also gone ahead to cut out our lining you can see what it looks like we've gone ahead to stitch it and we left this front part this lower part because this is what you're going to use to flip it through the other side so this is what it looks like you can see now for the lower part of our front block we've also gone ahead to turn it with your lining and this is what it looks like next thing you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead and attach this upper piece of your front block to the lower piece of your front block to give you like a complete you know full front and don't forget that you are also to stitch your darts at this front block okay so by the time you stitch your darts this way it's basically going to align with what you have so i'll go ahead and do that and show you guys what it looks like so guys for the back block also we've gone ahead now to couple this up and then we fixed in our zipper we have one single piece for the back block now for the front block this is what we have for the front block so for the front block this is what you have so you can see our deep v-neck and you can also see our princess that's bust here we've attached the upper piece to the lower piece together and we have one single piece so the next thing you are going to do now is to place your front block on your back block okay use your bust measurements waist measurements and your hip measurements to stitch this to give us a single piece and then i'll show you guys what it looks like so now you are going to measure your bust measurement so we have you know 18 36 divided by 2 we have 18 so you check what you have here i have 20 inches so this means that i'm going to mark one inch on this side and one inch on this other side okay now bust to waist is eight inches right bust to waist is eight inches so at this point now we'll measure our waist so my waist is 32 divided by two i'm supposed to have 16 but yeah i have 18 inches so what this means is that i have two inches extra i'm going to mark one inch on both sides one inch on both sides now we'll come down to the hip come down to the hip waist to hip we have nine inches so you can see the essence of knowing your distance calculation this will enable you to know where to mark it please go ahead and watch the video in the description box below so for this now we have 38 19 and i have 21 inch 21 inches so that means i have two inches extra i will share it on both sides so this is what we have so you are basically going to stitch this this way right and you also stitch this this way to give us a complete piece so once i've done sewing it i'll show you guys what it looks like 
so guys now we want to cut out the fabric it is also very necessary for you to know that when you are cutting out dress that has to do with flay it's advisable you cut it out first before cutting out the main fabric so what i want to do here now is that i'm cutting out flay so i'm folding my fabric in a triangular form this way half Play. that is what i want for the lower part and i'm going to be cutting out two pieces now one advantage of cutting out your half lay is because it gives you a longer length compared to when you are cutting out your full flay especially if you are dealing with fabrics like african prints which the length is about 45 inches so now what we need for our hip our hip is 11 inches so kindly place your tape measure where you can find 11 inches so i'm going to put it at this point i added two inches to it for my sewing allowance so this is where i'm able to find 13 inches so place your tape measure at this edge place it this way we have 18 place it this way to mark your 18 inches and then you place it this way also so you connect the lines together you connect the lines together this is what we have so the next thing you are going to do now is to mark your length so our length now is 33 inches how am i able to come across the length so our full gown length is 65 right shoulder to knee length is 35 so deduct your shoulder to knee length from your gown length we have 30 inches and then i went ahead to add three inches for my sewing allowance and don't forget that the reason why i'm using this form of play is so that i can have a very long length compared to you know full flay and i'm going to be cutting out two pieces of this so that i can still have like my very full effect so i'll place my tape measure now and mark my 30 inches so place your tape measure and mark your 30 inches so once you've marked that the next thing you're going to do now is the next thing you're going to do now is place your tape measure at this edge and check out what you have so place it at this edge and check out what you have where what you have for your 30 inches so what i have now is about 48 inches from this part so i'll go ahead now and mark that so once i mark that the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to place my tape measure also at this edge and also mark the 48 inches okay and also mark the 48 inches so i'll just connect it so place your tape measure also at this edge and also mark your 48 inches so it's actually very easy so go ahead now and connect the lines together so after connecting the lines this is what we are going to have for the length so i'll go ahead now and cut this out so guys this is what we have you can see that we have the two pieces now so by the time you join these two together you are going to have your very full flay and also you are going to have the long length of about 30 inches so we'll go ahead now and set this aside so guys after joining it together this is what it looks like you can see our cute deep v neckline so this is what we have so the next thing we are going to do now is we are basically going to attach the lower part together which happens to be our flay so go ahead and stitch your flay to this lower part and then your dress is ready